Hello all, my name is Krishna and I'm welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about which degree is better for data science, okay? And the degree that we are going to compare is with respect to PhDs, Masters, BE, certifications. Certification nowadays, I think you're hearing a lot. You know, this certification, that certification with respect to data science and all. Okay, so we are going to discuss about this entirely. And yes, there may be questions from other people also who are from non-technical and non-programming background. I'll also talk about them. Okay, so one important thing guys, I want to just mention regarding masters. If you're doing your masters in India, that is called as an M.Tech program. If you're doing your masters outside India, that is called as an MS program. If you are planning to do your masters in India with respect to M.Tech program, you have to write an exam, which is called as gate exam. But with respect to the foreign university, you have different, different exams like GRE, GMAT, TOEFL and all, right? So this many exams are actually there. Now, suppose, uh, I am going to just share my experience because I have seen so many people who, and I know people from who have done the PhD, who are working in the data science industry, who have done their masters, who have done their BE, uh, who are working in specific data science industry as data scientists, machine learning engineers and all, okay? As a machine learning researcher even, okay? Now suppose, uh, what suggestion I would like to give people, you know, suppose uh, uh, you are doing a final year of your BE and probably you have plans to do your higher education. See guys, if you're planning to do your higher education like masters and PhDs, like suppose I'm talking of the full-time education. I'm not saying that on Saturdays and Sundays like kind of thing, full-time masters. Suppose you're planning to go outside India and do your MS, okay? It is good, it is good, go and do it, okay? Go and do it. Only when you are financially backed up, okay? Suppose your parents are earning well, they're able to support your education till then, yes, please proceed with it. After completing your BE, go and do your, ahead your master's with respect to data science, okay? Because in master's, you'll be able to do amazing theses, you'll be able to do amazing research and really do a whole lot of things. In India, if you're planning to do your M.Tech, make sure that you write the gate exam. And if you are able to get into IITs and NITs, definitely go for it. Because in IITs and NITs, you'll be getting a higher probability of getting placed. I'm not saying that they are not good colleges which can actually provide you M.Tech program along with placement, but I'm saying that try to focus more on IITs and NITs. Okay, this is the other thing. Suppose if you're not financially backed up, okay? So after you complete your B, try to get a job, guys. Try to get a job. So by that, you will be able to, and do it for at least two to three years. I know even like, uh, I've seen some of my friends, you know, who has completed their BE, they work for two to three years, okay? They, they, they gained some financial backup and then they went to do their masters in US, in Germany and different, different places in foreign university. So you can also take this particular path, make sure that if you're not financial backed up in order to support your family, after you complete your degree, let it be BE or any other degree, Try to do some kind of work, you know, let it be software engineering, let it be other kind of jobs, okay? And again, trust me, even you do software engineering, you can also make a transition towards data science because I have done that. I made a transition from software engineering to data scientist or machine learning engineer. My first job with respect to analytics industry was machine learning engineering. Yes, you can do it, okay? So once you complete your B, try to work for at least two to three years, gain that financial backup. And then if you have plans to do your MS, go ahead and do it. Like this, many of my friends have done. They have cleared their masters. They are working well in US and in Germany. I've also seen that, okay? This is also a way. Now, the third thing is that once you're doing your masters, if you also have plans to do with respect to PhD, also please go ahead and do it, guys. If you really, really are interested in doing advanced research, because in data science industry, it is not compulsory to have masters or PhD by but it is good to have, you know. You will be having more options when you are doing masters or PhD with respect to data science, you know. Uh, and again, it is not compulsory. Again, I'm telling you guys, I I have become a data scientist after doing my BE. Okay, I had I also wanted to do masters and all, but I could not do it. The reason was that my financial backup was not that good. Okay, but if you have an opportunity, go ahead with masters and PhD because you'll be getting a lot of options. Okay, a lot of options to explore with respect to jobs, with respect to different kind of jobs. The advanced things like machine learning researchers, right? Which Facebook, Google will be probably looking, they'll be working on some specific domain and for that kind of domain researchers will be required. But one thing that we can guarantee after you do your masters or PhD, you will probably be able to get good salary with respect to data science only in the analytics industry because the kind of role will be very, very unique. 
considering you are doing it from a good colleges like specifically masters if you are trying to do it from very good colleges from foreign universities from iits or nits definitely you will be having a better chance in getting amazing salaries okay this was with respect to masters and uh, phd and yes for the people like me who do not who who was not having for the initial 5 years any financial backup yes after be also you can do data science okay after be or any other degree i've i've shown so many transition video in my youtube channel guys yes you can become you will become a citizen data scientist citizen data scientist i hope i have made a video regarding that also a citizen data scientist is a person who will be focusing more on the life cycle of a data science project you know whereas people from phd and masters you know they will be focusing they may also get work yes they will also be focusing on life cycle of a data scientist but they will be also able to some do some more advanced things like creating their own machine learning algorithms doing some more amazing works creating some amazing tools uh, with respect to that particular algorithms and all uh, and usually you know uh, when we talk about google facebook and all they try to look uh, if they want to put someone if they want to hire some new person in the analytics industry with kind of any kind of research right for any kind of research at that time they will definitely hire from phd's or masters right with the help of be definitely they are companies which are hiring for data science role and those kind of roles are like citizen data scientist where they will be focusing on solving business use cases right like uh, the entire life cycle of a data science project like feature engineering feature selection data gathering model creation you know and uh, model deployment retraining approach and doing a lot of things right and right now so many open source algorithms is already present in the market which will be able to solve more than 70 to 80 percentage of the use cases that are coming in the market and this is with respect to all the people non technical non programming people also yes now there will be some people who will say that no they cannot do it i'll say guys non technical non programming it will be little bit more difficult but you should not say that they cannot they can i have shown so many transitions to so many transitions in my youtube channel so i have interviewed them i have under i have asked them how did they prepare and all right and you can also check out at that that all videos in my youtube channel so in short the last thing i forgotten about the certification when you should do certification guys i have seen many people i have also recently uploaded a video a person had cleared six certification but still he was not able to get data science jobs and guys after degree you know focus more on implementing things the real world application implementing completely end to end life cycle implementing the entire application learn the data science things learn how to create a data science application completely from end to end just don't focus more on certification yes if you really want to put a cherry on top of your cake you can actually do certification but just don't think that by getting certification you will be able to clear the interview the clearing of the interview will be only done if you know the entire process and that is what recruiter looks at i've seen recruiters not even if you write so many certification in your resume they'll not even read out i've done that i've seen that in my previous companies also i was also one of the interviewer in my previous company okay so with respect to this they don't focus more on certification but they focus more on how you are implementing things how you have understood things okay this is the most uh, most important thing that i would really want to say just don't focus on certification saying that no just by clearing certification i'll be able to get job no right apart from that i always believe data science is a technique that can be applied in any domain people from the non technical background non programming background you may be working some or the other way let it be sales marketing somewhere you will be having that domain knowledge and you can reuse that now the question things that from a citizen data scientist can we become a data scientist like how phd or masters people can work basically like a machine learning researcher and all yes you can do it and but for that you need to have some amount of experience in working of that see they are studying masters and phd they are probably spending so many years in learning things implementing things right so similarly a citizen data scientist with some number of years of experience in the data science field in the analytics industry you can also work like a masters or phd guy okay because there you will be getting more and more practical knowledge now i'll tell you one of my examples in my previous company i have developed my own machine learning algorithms uh, which was like of a pattern recognition and all this was only possible since i was able to work in this analytics industry for so many period of time right this is very very much important 
and yes guys every degrees every and when i say masters or phd please make masters make it as a full time don't don't consider that not full time okay this should be a full time degree itself and only go for higher education when you are financially backed up i know people uh, otherwise just understand that it, it, you will not be able to support your parents at after completing your one degree then it will be very very bad not everybody parents are rich you know you should be supporting your family you should be supporting your parents and that is the reason why probably people uh, you know they do some part time masters and all but understand learning wise i think that that amount of learning that you're looking for you will not be able to get it and yes uh, when to do certification also i'll give you some examples probably in my previous company there were some managers uh, probably uh, you know uh, uh, they were already working in the analytics project and just to showcase in their uh, company that uh, you have learned you have done some more additional certification with respect to analytics uh, like let it be tensorflow or all or different kind of certification that are coming up in data science you can do it and you can show it to your higher management your higher management will definitely think that you are doing something more in the analytics industry in that particular case yes please pretty much go ahead with the certification but uh, understand the most important thing is the practical thing right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye